hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn how to create a pivot table using vb script in power automate desktop so please watch this video till then so that you can understand it completely and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel yet please subscribe it so let's get started in today's video we are going to work with this file Using this data, we are going to create a pivot report. Okay. So I'll go back to Power Automate Desktop. Then I will go to scripting and from here I will drag the run VB script action. And here what I will do is first of all I will create a Excel object. For that I will write set obj excel create object then excel dot application next what we will do is we will set the visibility so obj excel dot visible equals to true that means when this object is getting created so our excel application will be in visible state right next one is that we are going to create a workbook object and here we are going to use this obj excel dot workbooks dot open and here i'll specify the file path i will copy the file path and here i'll paste the file path and then what i will do is i will add a worksheet so I'll name the worksheet as obj sheet and for that what I will do is I will use this obj excel dot sheets dot add so this will add the sheet in the next line we will rename the sheet and the name of the sheet is going to be pivot okay let's test this code i will right click and say run from here Our excel file did not open so let's check it here we can see that we have used the set keyword okay because of that the excel file did not open so I'll click on save and I will run the flow Our script has executed successfully and here you can see that it has been able to add a sheet which is named as pivot and sheet one is having the data correct I will close it now we have to write code to create a pivot So the next line of code that we are going to write is we have to create some constant variables so it is going to be src data and here we are going to specify the range 
how do we get that range to get the range we have to go to excel file and what you have to do is you have to go to insert and then click on pivot so this range which is available in this field we have to copy this so let's do it again the range has been selected just press ctrl c and then cancel it go back to power automate desktop and paste it okay the next line is going to be again a constant variable which is going to be named as excel database equals to 1 and then we have constant variable which is named as version and the value is going to be 5 and then we have to create another constant variable which is destination the value will be pivot which is name of the sheet then exclamation sign r3 c1 so these values are going to be as it is there is going to be no change in this okay your source data can be different but these values are going to be as it is okay then i will have another constant variable which will be named as table name and here I will name this table as pivot table 1 okay now I'm going to create an object which is going to be named as pivot cache is equals to our workbook which is obj workbook dot pivot caches dot create and this is going to accept two parameters which is excel database comma your source data and comma version so it is actually accepting three parameters okay the next line it is going to have is a object which is going to be named as pivot table and in this case I'm going to use this object which is pivot cache and then I will write create pivot table and here I'm going to pass the variable which is destination and table name right so we have passed two constant variables to create a pivot table okay now we are going to have another uh, couple of or three constant variables one is going to be constant excel row field is equals to one another one is going to be constant excel column field which is going to represent the column and another one we have is constant excel values and its value is going to be four excel values and i can add a field as well and we have third constant variable which is going to be named as excel filter field 
and its value is going to be 3 so what I'll do is I'll just cut it and paste here right so these constant variables where we have specified the value is 1 2 3 4 in your pivot when you are manually creating a pivot uh, table then you will see that there are certain fields where you can drag and drop your columns consider that I want to create a pivot of this data I want to create it manually so I'll press click on it and then I'll say ok now here you see that we have four fields right filters columns rows and values and the, for the rows we have given one for columns we have given two and for filter we have given three and for values we have given four right these are the constants these are not going to change so its value is going to be always at this I will delete the sheet I'll go back to power automate desktop now we have to write a code which is going to use this object which is pivot pivot table dot pivot fields and here I'm going to specify the company name which is one of the columns in that data and dot orientation I have to set And this is going to use our this constant variable which means it is going to be the row right the next line that we are going to use is pivot table dot pivot fields here I'm going to specify the role in company which is the name of the column and here the value that I'm going to pass is Excel column field and the third line that I'm going to use is for the values so I'll paste that line of code again which is pivot table dot pivot fields and here I'm going to specify the column name as email and the orientation is going to be Excel values Excel values field okay so this is the line of code these are the line of code that you can use to create a pivot table using VB script action power automate desktop okay I will click on save and then I will right click and say run from here the code has executed successfully and here you can see that the pivot table is ready right consider a scenario where you want to apply a filter or have a filter also so what you can do is you can just copy this line of code and here you can specify the name of the column let's say I want to use the phone number to filter the data that this is just an example you can use it as per your requirement an orientation in that I will specify the value as Excel filter field I will click on save and then I will right click and say run from here
and here you can see that you have a field where you can apply filter let's do one thing as of now if you try to save it or close it it will ask you to save the file so let's write a script to save this file okay i'll click on don't save and then i'll open this run vb script action now what i will do is i will use this object and here i'll write obj workbook.save then another line that I'm going to use is obj workbook dot close and the last line that I'm going to use is obj workbook dot quit I can specify the file name differently so I'll use save as I will use same file path and here I'll paste it and I'll give it a name as one I will click on save and then I will run from here your file has been saved and here you can see that a file has been created which is named as challenge underscore one and this is the pivot table that you have created using the VB script okay here you can see that when we executed the code this is still running so how can you get rid of it for that what you have to do is you have to close it for now go back to your run vb script action and this time you have to use this obj excel dot quit and you can get rid of this line of code so for now I will just comment it and then I will click on save and then I will click on run from here as you can see that your script has executed successfully And here you can see that that file is created. Sometimes what happens is when you are trying to save your data, you might get certain pop-ups, right? Or confirmation dialog box. To avoid that, what you can do is you can use your OBJ Excel object. And before saving the file, you can write this line of code which is obj excel dot display alerts and equals to false and now I will click on save and then I will right click and say run from here As you can see the code has executed successfully and we did not get any pop-up right so this is how you can use VB script action to create a pivot table in power automate desktop if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day